We, na kwambia ni noma juu ya noma. Yaani you had an opportunity to interact with all those people. Yes, I did. The and the only hey. part I feel bad about is the pizza. First it was burger fest and now mm -mm, pizza and pole braya. No, I, I got the I got all the good stuff. Si just give buyer. <laughs> really? Really? Look at your face right now. Okay, fine. Hi. Elani is back and we're super proud. The new music is Heartbeat. You got to watch it out. And of course, hey the yellow. What is what is the yellow? The thing? yellow. So you had it represents that face. It These are the fundamentals. The eyes, you know. No, I just hey. think it's ukau. Ukamba. Uh -uh, fundamentals. <laughs> That's it exactly what's happening right now. The yellow represents the googly eyes face when you're in a relationship. You've just fallen in love. You mm -hmm. know, you're all bright and happy. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is what they're trying to get across. I was talking about a place that doesn't have water, but there is one person in Aye. Kenya who thinks that they could move <laughs> rivers. <laughs> Instead of buildings, uh, uh, or the other way around. Mr. Ferdinand <laughs> Waititu, my goodness, the Liberian Rand. Eh? The Liberian Rand. Liberian Rand. Yeah. So it's people actually think that yeah? he, he, was, he was kind of right. People think that he was kind of right Kone to do that. I mean, is he going to part the rivers? Is he what? What is it, Brian? He needs to explain to us how he wants us to move the rivers. I just want you to check out the clip on what he exactly said. I'm talking about the governor of Kiambu. Ferdinand Waititu. Take a look. Mambo yangaliwe kama kuna nyumba yako inakaribiana na muto. Wewe uambiwe ni karama yako kuhakikisha hiyo mtu imesonga kidogo. Lakini kubungua nyumba is not a solution. Honestly speaking, it's such a big loss. Hey Ben. And of course, you know Kenyans are quick, quick, quick like He's this when it about comes the money, to their means. Of course. He's speaking about the money. It's all that cause, that cause, Bona. It was worth so much money. For what it is, that one is unbearable. It's unbearable. But this is what made him trend this week with the hashtag. Eh, Baba Yao Yao challenge. challenge. <laughs> Definitely. You look at your TV screens right now, you get to realize that the tweets were amazing. Thank you for gathering the tweets. Of course, I think Brian. So much of course Brian. But we need to thank Kenyans, mm -hmm. Brian, because without Kenyans and their memes, mm -hmm. what would we be, Brian? Did you see the, 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 the meme with that Moses? went wrong with... He, was, he looked like Moses, uh -huh. parting, parting the, the waters. Hey, look at your look hey. at your TV screens right hey. now. Look at hey. some of the tweets. <laughs> Hashtag Babayao Challenge. And of course, uh, there is a person called <laughs> Ndi, Ndi, Professor Ndi. Uh -huh. He actually took this to a whole new level and definitely just wanted people to throw shade towards the governor of Kiabu. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's enough. Mm -hmm. It's enough. I think we have we have shaded him enough, Brian. Yeah. Eh? Mm -hmm. eh, my goodness, my goodness. Can 